Hey fellas, in this video we're going to make a water bug and bait trap solar powered, so using a garden solar light you want some clips, a rubber bung and a toss link fiber optic cable and a couple juice bottles so start by taking the solar light just a garden light that you can buy from any garden shop, outdoor shop Pull it apart and push the rubber bung over the exposed LED light. Take the end of the fiber optic cable and jam it in the other side. You can buy these off eBay, they're not expensive, just a few dollars. They're used for transmitting audio signals between some home audio system. Thread it out the bottom of the light enclosure. You might have to drill a bot hole in the bottom of it. Now take a knife and cut the top off one of the bottles. Find a sharper knife than what I did. You can just use one bottle but I prefer to use two. It makes a larger trap and lets you access the back with the screw to cap in the back take the other bottle and cut the bottom off that side now I'd remove the cap from the top that you cut off you want to clean it up and then stick it in the, the bottom of the bottle that you just cut the bottom off. Should jam in there quite tight, but you can use clips to hold it in if necessary. Probably won't be necessary though. Now take a drill bit the same size as the end of the fiber optic cable, drill a hole in the cap. Now you want to fix it in there somehow, it's not important how, you can just tape it in, that's the easiest way. What I did was find some uh, silicon tube, that let me jam it in there, take up more of the space, more a, um, a tighter fit. And I used a bit of tape just to hold that together. Screw the cap back on and the trap's finished. So the trap will charge during the day and turn on at night. So if you cover the solar panel you see the light turn on. It's only about a one millimeter uh, fiber optic cable in this so you're not going to transmit that much light but it doesn't take much. This is, how, this is what it should look like when it's in the dark. I've chucked it in a backyard pond here overnight. I know there was tadpoles in there just to see what would happen and unfortunately it practically caught every tadpole in there and a good portion of them died. There's more tadpoles in the bowl than what there was water so that's something to be careful of. Next I went out and chucked it in a farm dam. It's really murky water so I didn't expect much. Anyway, I did catch a lot of uh, them back swimmer, water boatmen, beetles, a lot of snails, and there's also a leech in there, which I've never seen before, so that was interesting. It was like a green leech. We, got a lot, we get a lot of black and orange striped leeches here, but never seen one of those before. Those water boatmen are actually flying insects, that's how they end up in your backyard pools and stuff. About half of them flew away, and the rest had drowned. 
This is another dam I just chucked in. It's not far from the last one. It's a bit clearer though, this one. As you can see, there's a lot of little bugs caught, red mites, and um, I don't know what them are. That's like full of tiny thousands and thousands of little tiny bugs. They died as well, so they must be the air breathers as well, like flying insects. You see the red uh, mite there. Yet another dam. This one caught a few leeches. That's the normal leech we get around here. Just uh, orange and black striped. Okay, not you don't get much interesting from farm dams. I expected some um, gabbies maybe, but there, there might not be any here. It's a lot more interesting than chucking in flowing creeks and rivers where you'll catch practically everything. You'll catch all the bugs, you'll catch fish, you'll catch yabbies, crayfish, uh, shrimp. I've got a lot of shrimp in the Murrumbidgee River, which is a major river in Australia. Okay, this is a larger, more complicated one I made a while ago. It's uh, designed to float on top of the water with a high intensity LED light and a much thicker fiber optic cable. And it goes into a commercial trap. Anyway, give it a try. You never know what you'll catch. You make it as complicated as you want, but I think it's best kept simple.